that's advice to the individuals in the relationship. What, what do you have to say to bigger institutions like the media? Okay, this has happened the last one month. We are obviously throwing a lot of spotlight on it, highlighting it. But what do we do from here? What does the police do from here? What does those do from here? All the institutions, the social welfare, what do they have to do going forward? Because if not, this would happen, we report it. There's a, a period where it doesn't happen, then there's another explosion where three, four women or people are killed again because of you know intimate related violence. So maybe maybe I should use I should use this platform to also, and again you guys control the conversation in and around the country. For the media, I think one of the things they have to stop doing is trivializing some of these things. Okay. I think we should see it as a major crime, and we should treat it as such. Anytime we trivialize some of these things, I mean, so for example, I mean, come on, that the lady who was murdered in Kumasi was double dating. That is never an excuse to kill. It should never happen. Yes, but again, it's also about who we give the microphone to. Because all these things happened because somebody, and that suddenly became... Change the narrative, the narrative. Okay. right? That lady was double dating. He had a boyfriend in the so U.S. You know, justified. Exactly. And when you do that, you know, the subconsciousness of people keep in these things. And the next time they feel like, oh, they were right after all. Mm -hmm. About right. Star and everything. And exactly. 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 Mm -hmm.